Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing a full moon energy reading for May 23rd. Now this message is going to resonate within a week or two from the full moon energy. And during this full moon, guys, I want to talk a little bit about May's full moon. So May's full moon is going to peak on the 23rd in the sign of Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius is the sign of adventure. It's about passion, being passionate. The moon will also be in sextile to Pluto, which is the sign of death, rebirth, and transformation. So what does this mean? How, do, how can we interpret this? Well, this means that there's big changes that are coming. Now, for some of this, this is going to be relationships. Some of us, this is going to be like a friendship, maybe a sibling rivalry, something like that. For others of you, this is going to be a significant relationship in your life. Now, for some of you, this is going to be an ending to a toxic relationship that needed to come to an end in order to make way for new experiences. For others of you, these relationships are transforming, they're shifting into something new. Either way, it's going to be important through these changes to stay grounded and to be aware. So let's dive right into Scorpio's energy for this upcoming full moon. Let's see what comes out for you through this energy. Most important message here for Scorpio spirit. What do my Scorpion friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming full moon? Please and thank you. Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups, King of Coins. I definitely feel like you're withholding your energy from a particular person in your life. And I feel like you're kind of taking a more independent pro approach to life right now, focusing on the things that bring you joy, that bring you happiness. But you're standing your ground when it comes to a particular person. Now, maybe this person betrayed your trust. We're going to see how this all plays out into the reading. I do feel like there are a lot of positive things that are happening for you right now. So focusing on the new, the new experiences, the new life that you're creating and allowing the old to fall away. And we're going to clarify this as we go through. Now, again, guys, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is like good luck, good fortune, good favor. Things are finally looking up for you, Scorpio. And I definitely feel like money is coming in. And that could be why this is coming up. This particular person is going to try and come back in to apologize and make amends. But I feel like you're already moving forward from this particular person. And so when this person comes back in, Scorpio, it's going to be easy for you to stand your ground with them. Okay? Stay focused on this new path. Because I honestly feel like even though their apology may be genuine, it's almost like they're not sorry for their actions. They're, it's more they're sorry they got caught. You know what I mean? Stay focused on the new. And that's how you're going to overcome this challenge with this person. And it's okay, like, even to just tell them, like, yeah, it's okay. That just doesn't mean that I'm going to be accepting that into my life any longer. 
And I definitely feel like you're more level-headed looking at this more straightforward. You're detaching emotionally from that particular person. It's a healing, okay? No more questioning if you're making the right decision, Scorpio, because I feel there's an energy of questioning yourself, questioning if this is the right decision, the right path, distancing yourself from this particular person. And the reason why they're coming up is because, or coming back is because they see you successful. They see things finally working for you and finally turning in your favor. So the outcome, if no action is taken, there's still going to be a lot of questioning. There's still going to be a lot of uncertainty. What I will say is it doesn't matter if you're not ready. Don't push yourself. Just allow things to take place as they come, as they go, ebbs and flows. Don't try to fight. Okay. Don't try to resist change. Just allow allow things to transpire. Right now, I feel like it's almost as if you're being divinely guided, so there's a need to tap in and listen. Let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals for ritual kits for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. If you're not ready, then wait. If you're not ready, then wait. Definitely feel like you're being guided at this time. So there is a need to listen. Okay. There's also... There's something about the path that you're on, a person that's in your life or the current position that you're in. There's something here that is like divine intervention or divinely guided or um, your spirit guides, your ancestors are helping you through this process. But I feel like there is some resistance to this spiritual help. And just allowing, and how do we get our guides to help us, right? When we need their help, their assistance. Well, we designate tasks to them. So we would, we would say, I need your help with X, Y, and Z. Can you please help me in the best way that you can? I definitely feel here, Scorpio, this just an energy of like everything is happening for a reason for you. So you need to trust it at this time. Even if things may seem a little bit scattered <clears throat> or uncertain, just allow. Okay. So the message that comes with this card, you've chosen the symbol because you're being guided on this journey to find an answer to your question. Consider that there is an invisible spirit within all living things. Know that all things and events and experiences are woven together like a magical web that can be seen only in the darkest night and not by human eyes. A meaningful coincidence, a blessed friendship, a lover, and a significant experience are all orchestrated by spirit. No matter what is in front of you, something important is brewing. You will know the answer to what soon enough. What is being kept secret as well is why, Scorpio. You may step forward knowing that some things are meant to remain a mystery. I can't help but think that there is a need to trust. 
there's a need to trust your guides at this time. Again, everything's happening for a reason. I know there may be a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty out with the old and with the new type of an energy, but trusting the process here, Scorpio, is what's going to be important for you at this time. So, Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this full moon energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey guys, I just want to come on really quickly and let everybody know that I'm posting content on Patreon, on OnlyFans, and on the YouTube membership platform. It's going to be guided meditations. I'll do some sound healing and maybe even throw in some yoga videos. If that's something that you're interested in, you're more than welcome to join. The information will all be linked below in the description box. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.